Holy water is water that has been blessed by a member of the clergy or a religious figure. The use for cleansing prior to a baptism and spiritual cleansing is common in several religions, from Christianity to Sikhism. The use of holy water as a sacramental for protection against evil is common among Anglicans, Roman Catholics, and Eastern Christians. In Christianity in Catholicism, Anglicanism, Eastern Orthodoxy, Oriental Orthodoxy and some other churches, holy water is water that has been sanctified by a priest for the purpose of baptism, the blessing of persons, places, and objects, or as a means of repelling evil. History the use of holy water used by various sects of Christianity is a practice only attested to in Catholic documents. The Apostolic Constitutions, which goes back to about the year 400, attribute the precept of using holy water to the Apostle Matthew. It is plausible that in earliest Christian times water was used for expiatory and purificatory purposes in a way analogous to its employment in Jewish law. Yet, in many cases, the water used for the sacrament of baptism was flowing water, sea or river water, and it could not receive the same blessing as that contained in the baptistries in the view of the Roman Catholic Church. However, Eastern Orthodox do perform the same blessing, whether in a baptistry or an outdoor body of water. Use and storage Sprinkling with holy water is used as a sacramental that recalls baptism. Holy water is kept in the holy water font, which is typically located at the entrance to the church or sometimes in a separate room or building called a baptistry. Smaller vessels, called stoops, are usually placed at the entrances of the church, to enable people to sprinkle themselves with it on entering. In recent years, with the concerns over influenza, new holy water machines that work like an automatic soap dispenser have become popular. In the Middle Ages, the power of holy water was considered so great that in some places fonts had locked covers to prevent the theft of holy water for unauthorized magic practices. The constitutions of Archbishop Edmund Rich 1236 prescribed that fonts are to be kept under lock and key because of witchcraft, sortilegia. Similarly the chrism and sacred oil are kept locked up. Topic. Proper disposal Topic. In Catholicism, holy water, as well as water used during the washing of the priest's hands at Mass, is not allowed to be disposed of in regular plumbing. Roman Catholic churches will usually have a special basin a sacrarium that leads directly into the ground for the purpose of proper disposal. A hinged lid is kept over the holy water basin to distinguish it from a regular sink basin, which is often just beside it. Items that contained holy water are separated, drained of the holy water, and then washed in a regular manner in the adjacent sink. Topic. Hygiene. Topic. Holy water fonts have been identified as a potential source of bacterial and viral infection. In the late 19th century, bacteriologists found Staphylococci, Streptococci, Coli bacilli, Loeffler's bacillus, and other bacteria in samples of holy water taken from a church in Sassari, Italy. In a study performed in 1995, 13 samples were taken when a burn patient acquired a bacterial infection after exposure to holy water. The samples in that study were shown to have a wide range of bacterial species, some of which could cause infection in humans. During the swine flu epidemic of 2009, Bishop John Steinbach of Fresno, California recommended that holy water should not be in the fonts due to fear of spreading infections. Also in response to the swine flu, an automatic, motion-detecting holy water dispenser was invented and installed in an Italian church in 2009. Topic. Christian traditions Topic. Topic. Roman Catholics Topic. Topic. Sanctification Topic. As a reminder of baptism, Catholic Christians dip their fingers in the holy water and make the sign of the cross when entering the church. 
The liturgy may begin on Sundays with the rite of blessing and sprinkling holy water, in which holy water is sprinkled upon the congregation, this is called aspersion, from the Latin, aspergere, to sprinkle. This ceremony dates back to the 9th century. An aspergill or aspergillum is a brush or branch used to sprinkle the water. An aspersorium is the vessel which holds the holy water and into which the aspergillum is dipped, though elaborate Ottonian examples are known as sicily. Blessed salt may be added to the water where it is customary." This use of holy water and making a sign of the cross when entering a church reflects a renewal of baptism, a cleansing of venial sin, as well as providing protection against evil. It is sometimes accompanied by the following prayer. By this holy water and by your precious blood, wash away all my sins O Lord. Although not actually holy water since it has not been blessed by a priest, some Catholics believe that water from specific shrines, such as Lourdes, can bring healing. Formula The traditional Latin formula for blessing the water is as follows Exorcizo te, creatura aqua, in nomine Dei Patris Omnipotentis, et in nomine Jesu Christi, Fili Aegis Domini Nostri, et in virtute Spiritus Sancti, ut Fias aqua exorcizata ad effugandum omnum potestatum inimici, et ipsum inimicum eradicare et explantare valeas cum angelus sues apostatices, per virtutum Aegisum Domini Nostri Jesu Christ, qui venturis est judicare vivos et mortuos et seculum per ignum. Deus, qui ad salutum humani generis maxima qua ex sacramenta in aquarum substantia candidisti, adesto propitious invocationibus nostris, et elemento hic, multimodus purificationibus praeparato, virtutum tui benedictionis infunde, ut creatura tua, mysteries tui serviens, ad abigendos demons morbosque pelindos divina gratiae sumat effectum, ut quidquid in domibus vel in loci's fidelium hec unda respirserit cariat omni immunitia, liberatora noxa. Non illic residat spiritus pestilens, non ora corrumpens, discutant omnes insidia latentis animici, et si quid est quod aut incolumitati habitantium invidit aut quieti, aspersione hujus aqua effugiat, ut salubritas, per invocationum sancti tui naminis expedita, ab omnibus sit impunationibus defensa. Per dominum, amen. English translation I exorcise thee, creature of water, in the name of God the Father Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ, his Son, our Lord, and in the power of the Holy Spirit, that you may put to flight all the power of the enemy, and that enemy and to root out and, along with his fallen angels through the power of our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall come to judge the living and the dead and the world by fire. O God, who for the salvation of the human race has built thy greatest mysteries in the substance, in your kindness hear our prayers, and with the element to this, for many kinds of purifications of his well prepared, the power of thy blessing, serve it, the creation of thy mysteries, serving as an agent of divine grace, is sprinkled with this water in their houses or in the buildings of the faithful, that whatever might be free from all uncleanness, he is freed from every harm. It is not no pestilent spirit, no taint of corruption, let all the wiles of the lurking enemy, or to provide for the safety and peace of the inhabitants of that which is, and if there be any, by the sprinkling of this water, so that health, through the invocation of thy holy name, made secure against all attacks. Through the end. Topic. Protection against evil Topic. Catholic saints have written about the power of holy water as a force that repels evil. Saint Teresa of Avila, a doctor of the Church who reported visions of Jesus and Mary, was a strong believer in the power of holy water and wrote that she used it with success to repel evil and temptations. She wrote, I know by frequent experience that there is nothing which puts the devils to flight like holy water. In Holy Water and its significance for Catholics Henry Thaler states that in addition to being a strong force in repelling evil, Holy Water has the twofold benefit of providing grace for both body and soul. The new ritual Romanum excludes the exorcism prayer on the water. Exorcised salt used to be added to the Holy Water as well. Priests can now use the older form if they wish according to Summorum Pontificum, an apostolic letter by Pope Benedict XVI. Eastern Christians Topic. Among the Eastern Orthodox and the Byzantine Rite Catholics holy water is used frequently in rites of blessing and exorcism, and the water for baptism is always sanctified with a special blessing. 
There are two rites for blessing holy water, the great blessing of waters, which is held on the feast of Theophany and at baptisms, and the lesser blessing of waters, which is conducted according to need and local custom during the rest of the year, certain feast days calling for the lesser blessing of waters as part of their liturgical observance. Both forms are based upon the rite of baptism. After the blessing of holy water the faithful are sprinkled with it and each drinks some of it. Holy water is drunk by the faithful after it is blessed and it is a common custom for the pious to drink holy water every morning. In the monasteries of Mount Athos holy water is always drunk in conjunction with consuming antidoran. Eastern Orthodox do not typically bless themselves with holy water upon entering a church as Western Catholics do, but a quantity of holy water is often kept in a font placed in the narthex entrance of the church, available for anyone who would like to partake of it or to take some of it home. After the annual great blessing of waters at Theophany, also known as Epiphany, the priest goes to the homes of the faithful within his parish and, in predominantly Orthodox lands, to the buildings throughout town, and blesses them with holy water. When blessing objects such as the palms on Palm Sunday, paschal eggs and other foods for Easter, candles, or liturgical instruments and sacred vessels icons and crosses are not blessed, however, as they are considered intrinsically holy and redeemed. The blessing is completed by a triple sprinkling with holy water using the words, This name of item is blessed by the sprinkling of this holy water, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Throughout the centuries, there have been many springs of water that have been believed by members of the Orthodox Church to be miraculous. Some still flow, such as the one at Pachav Lavra in Ukraine, and the life-giving spring of the Theotokos in Constantinople commemorated on Bright Friday. <laughs> Anglicans Holy water is not a term used in Church of England rites, although font water is sanctified in the Church of England baptism rite. In contrast, the Episcopal Church United States does expressly mention the optional use of holy water in some recent liturgies of blessing. More generally, the use of water within High Church Anglicanism or Anglo-Catholicism adheres closely to Roman Catholic practice. In many such Anglican churches baptismal water is used for the aspergis. Stoops with sanctified water are sometimes found near the doors of high church Anglican churches for the faithful to use in making the sign of the cross upon entering the church. Lutherans The use of holy water in some synods of Lutheranism is for the baptism of infants and new members of the church. The water is believed to be blessed by God, as it is used in a sacrament. The water is applied to the forehead of the laity being baptized and the minister performs the sign of the cross. Lutherans tend to have holy water fonts at the entrance of the church. Other synods do not use holy water, however they do typically treat the water used for baptisms in a more respectful manner. <laughs> Methodists in the Methodist tradition, holy baptism is often administered by sprinkling or pouring holy water over the candidate. The official baptismal liturgy, as well as the liturgy for reaffirmation of baptism commonly done through aspergis, has a prayer for the blessing of this water. Pour out your Holy Spirit, to bless this gift of water and those who receive it, to wash away their sin and clothe them in righteousness throughout their lives, that, dying and being raised with Christ, they may share in his final victory. All praise to you, Eternal Father, through your Son Jesus Christ, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns forever. Amen. Other religions In ancient Greek religion, holy water called chernips Greek, sheernips was created when a torch from a religious shrine was extinguished in it. In Greek religion, purifying people and locations with water was part of the process of distinguishing the sacred from the profane. The Book of Numbers mentions using water in a test for the purity of a wife accused of marital infidelity. Known as the ordeal of the bitter water, the accused woman, Soda, would first be asked to confess to her crime before the court. If she refused to confess, she would then undergo the ritual. She would be stripped naked and then drink a mixture of water and dust. If she was guilty, she would be supposedly cursed to miscarry any pregnancy, though the text is unclear on the exact punishment. 
If she was innocent, there would be no effect. Sikhs use the Punjabi term Amrita, Amrita for the holy water used in the baptism ceremony known as Amrit Sanskar or Amrit Chakna. In Hinduism, water represents God in a spiritual sense, which is the central theme in Mantra Pushpam from Taithriya Aranyakam of Yajurveda. Bathing in holy water is, thus, a key element in Hinduism, and the Ganges is considered the holiest Hindu river. The idea of blessed water is used in virtually all Buddhist traditions. In the Theravada tradition, water is put into a new pot and kept near a paratrana ceremony, a blessing for protection. This lustral water can be created in a ceremony in which the burning and extinction of a candle above the water represents the elements of earth, fire, and air. This water is later given to the people to be kept in their home. Not only water but also oil and strings are blessed in this ceremony. Most Mahayana Buddhists typically recite sutras or various mantras, typically that of the Bodhisattva Avalokiteshvara for example, numerous times over the water, which is then either consumed or is used to bless homes afterwards. In Vajrayana Buddhism, a bumpa, a ritual object, is one of the Ashtamangala, used for storing sacred water sometimes, symbolizing wisdom and long life. The Sunni Muslim variety of holy water is the Zamzam water that comes from a spring by the Kaaba. The drinking of healing water Ab -i -shifa, is a practice in various denominations of Shia Islam. In the tradition of the Twelver Shia, many dissolve the dust of sacred locations such as Karbala -shifa and Najaf and drink the water Ab -i -shifa as a cure for illness, both spiritual and physical. The Ismaili tradition involves the practice of drinking water blessed by the Imam of the time. This water is taken in the name of the Imam and has a deep spiritual significance. This is evident from the names used to designate the water, including light nur and ambrosia amrit, ami, amiras, amigil. This practice is recorded from the 13th and 14th centuries and continues to the present day. The ceremony is known as Ghat Pat in South Asia. In Wicca and other ceremonial magic traditions, a bowl of salt is blessed and a small amount is stirred into a bowl of water that has been ritually purified. In some traditions of Wicca, this mixture of water and salt symbolizes the brine of the sea, which is regarded as the womb of the goddess, and the source of all life on earth. The mixture is consecrated and used in many religious ceremonies and magical rituals. Unofficial uses Holy water has also been believed to ward off or act as a weapon against mythical evil creatures, such as vampires. In Eastern Europe, one might sprinkle holy water onto the corpse of a suspected vampire in order to destroy it or render it inert. Thereafter, the concept proliferated into fiction about such creatures. Gallery Stoops See also Topic Anglican devotions Catholic devotions Holy anointing oil Topic References Topic Topic Further reading Topic. Mother Mary, Ware, Archimandrite Callistos, TR, 1998. The Festal Menion, reprint, pp. 348 to 359. South Canaan, Saint Tikon Seminary Press. ISBN 1-878997-00-9. Isabel Florence Hapgood, TR, ed. 1983. Service Book of the Holy Orthodox Catholic Apostolic Church 6th ed., pp. 189-197. Englewood, Antiochian Orthodox Christian Archdiocese. Collectio Ritum ad instar appendices ritualis Romani pro diocesibus statum fodoratorum Americae septentrionalis. Milwaukee, Bruce 1954. <laughs> External links Topic. On Holy Water Blessed at Theophany by Saint. John of Shanghai and San Francisco Eastern Orthodox. Holy Water from Various Churches Photo of Great Blessing of Waters at Theophany Russian Orthodox. 
Photo of Lesser Blessing of Waters, Russian Orthodox. Saint Brigid's Well, County Kildare.